Hello everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Chade Arena. Now, where do you plan to take your next vacation? Are you gonna go somewhere with nice beaches or somewhere with cheap drinks? Somewhere where you can lay around all day and get fat pretending like you don't have to go back to an office job and be an office slave? Or are you going somewhere full of mystery and illusion, somewhere that will titillate your senses? Well, if you chose the latter for some weird reason, I've got a list for you that might help you pick your travel destination with today's list of top 10 mysterious places in North America. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna be reading out some comments from our Scary Kids Show Part 2 video. And finally, make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram, Facebook, and all sorts of other social media. It's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts a little bit better. And Without taking any longer, let's get into it. Number 10, Racetrack Playa, Death Valley. This place is famous for its sailing stones, big rocks that move when no one's looking. Ooh, people know they've moved because they leave a track behind them, but no one has ever seen them move. Oh, mysterious. We should send in Scoob and the gang and figure out what's going on with this one. The winds in this area reach up to 90 miles per hour, so it could be the reason that the rocks are sailing across the ground. But my theory is gnomes that are living inside the rocks and move the rocks around like Flintstone cars so you don't see any footprints. Either way, I'm sure someone could crack the code on this mystery with a GoPro set up and a little bit of time lapse to debunk this whole gnome theory, but please don't because I want to believe gnomes live in rocks. Number 9, Mount Shasta, Redding, California. Mount Shasta has been a major hub for all sorts of spiritual people, from Buddhist monks to white girls with dreadlocks who have crystals who call themselves bumbleweed. It's said to be one of the world's cosmic power spots. What does that mean? I have no idea. Do I look like someone who knows what a cosmic power spot is? I think it means if you hang out there for a long enough time, you get some sort of superpowers or something. The Native Americans believe that it connects to the above spirit world, so I'm guessing it's some sort of heaven-like spot? There's also been reports of UFO sightings and strange energy readings. Maybe it's a huge gas leak and everyone who goes there is just getting super high. Number eight, the organ vortex. This one is crazy. It seems like some sort of supernatural anomaly or magnetic energy powerhouse. The organ vortex used to be used as a mining facility and now is home to some of the strangest happenings. Many people who enter immediately feel vertigo. There's videos of balls rolling uphill, sticks and brooms that stand on their own when left in places where they should fall over. The people around you will seem to shrink and grow before your very eyes. This sounds like one of those places where I would sit on the outer rim just looking in and eating a sandwich and yelling, hey, how's it going in there? A couple more fun facts about this anomaly is that local Native American tribes call it the forbidden place and animals refuse to enter it. Yeah, I think that settles it. Me and Toto are gonna chill on the outside enjoying some expensive cold cuts while you guys dive into the gates of hell. Number seven, the Georgia Guidestones. Nothing like a giant monument paid by a guy who wants to start a new religion. The Georgia Guidestones are in Elbert County, Georgia, and they're there not to guide you physically, but spiritually. They were thrown up in 1979 and paid for by R.C. Christian, who there is still very little known about to this day. He wanted to erect a giant monument to people with 10 new commandments. New commandments with judo chop action. Some of these new commandments I could get behind. I mean, there's nothing about how you shouldn't bang your neighbor's wife, but maybe back in 1979, he didn't put it up there because it was just something that everyone knew you weren't supposed to do. But some of them are like balance personal rights and social duties, and avoid petty laws and useless officials. But the first commandment is maintain humanity under 500 million in order to have perpetual balance with nature. I'm sorry dude, but we already threw that one out the window. If all you need to start a new religion is some commandments, I'll kick off some right now, some commandments for the Church of Che, like be chill, stay hot, put cheese on it, let's dance, take a nap, backflips are dope, free gym memberships, get wrecked, hit the beach, and Blade 2 was underrated. Number six, the Coral Castle. 
This one is absolutely bonkers. It's a giant castle made out of limestone that was apparently all built by one man. The castle was built between the years of 1923 and 1951 and is a few miles south of Miami. Some of the slabs that were used to build this mega house were said to have been even heavier than some of the cubes that put the pyramids together. The place was thrown together by a Latvian immigrant named Edward Leedskilini. This dude must have like a 9,000 pound deadlift. He could probably power clean a Jeep Wrangler. However, this Latvian powerhouse said he didn't move the stones by hand, but he had found the secrets to the pyramids. There are even reports of him levitating stones that no man could move. The craziest part about this is he built the castle as a tribute to his fiance who left them on his wedding day. I guess after a breakup you have two options, move on and start a new life or never get over it and get superpowers. Number 5. Skinwalker Ranch I mean the name alone shows that you probably shouldn't go there. Like where do you want to go? Disneyland? Or Skinwalker Ranch? Yeah, I'm going to choose the one that sounds like it's named after the guy who would make cowboy boots out of campers. Well, Skinwalker Ranch is known for having a ton of supernatural things go down there. From alien sightings to strange lights appearing and disappearing out of nowhere. The place gets its name from a Native American myth of the Skinwalkers, who are people who could transform into any animal. Native Americans have also said that the area is cursed with a dark energy. I honestly think I would be fine there. I think if a skinwalker tried to take my identity, I would just show him how many parking tickets I owe. Number 4. Sadava Sanctuary, Trout Lake Do you like aliens? Well you better head down to Sadava Sanctuary as it's been a hotbed for UFO activity for nearly 50 years. If you want ET to come down and touch it with that weird little glowy finger then this is the place for you. It's literally a UFO retreat run by James Gilliland. Who is a UFO fanatic? He's founded two different operations dedicated to learning more about aliens and he's been letting people come up to check out the cool alien view since 1986. Almost everyone who goes up there has some sort of encounter with an alien. Whether it's strange lights flying through the sky or actual alien crafts in perfect sight or a soft kiss from a Klingon. Everyone who goes up comes home with some sort of story to tell. Number 3. Earthwork in Newark, Ohio It's super old, it used to be massive and it's definitely a mystery. The Newark earthwork is very strange as many people don't even know what it was used for. Some people believe that ancient Native American tribes could have used it as burial sites or as a church. While some people think that the area was cleared out so they could better map out the stars. This spot is also super old. Some of the older parts are dating back as far as 100 BC. It was also massive, it stretched over 4 square miles. Sadly encroaching development has destroyed most of it but there are still a few major structures that stand. I guess if you want to look at the stars now in Newark you're probably better off googling them. Number 2. Mel's Hole, Manashtash, Washington I would hate to work at this place. All day you would just hear the same dumb jokes over and over again. How big is Mel's Hole? How deep is Mel's Hole? How many people have come from Mel's Hole? How many people have been inside Mel's Hole? Has anyone ever got lost inside Mel's Hole? Are my hopes and dreams inside Mel's Hole? Well, all the hack jokes aside, this thing is pretty crazy. It's a 9 foot wide bottomless pit. People have tried to reach the bottom in all sorts of ways to no avail. It's even said that the hole has some sort of supernatural power, that if you were to throw a dead animal into it, that it would come back alive. There was one report from the 17th century of a family throwing their deceased dog into the pit and the dog later walked out of the forest completely rejuvenated. How am I just learning about this now? Someone dig up Harambe, we got a gorilla to save. Number 1 on the list is Champy. The Loch Ness monster thought he was the only creepy dragon creature wandering around open water but it looks like we've got our own that's made its home in Lake Champlain which is situated in the French Canadian province of Quebec. That's right, North America has his own version of Loch Ness and he even speaks French which means he's sexier. 
Champy got his name from the lake he makes his home in, and like most creatures of his ilk, there is no hard evidence to support the creature's existence. However, there have been several sightings. Over 300 actually. That's more sightings than the rest of NSYNC since Justin Timberlake left. The Iroquois and Abenaki are two Native American tribes from the area, and they both have legends of some sort of snake like creature living in the lake. I'm going to have to go out on a limb and say Champy is real. Now that we're done going through our list, I'm going to answer some of the comments from a previous video. Eliminator AV wrote, Are you afraid of the dark? I think this should be on the list. Dude, we did a part one to the list, and Are You Afraid of the Dark was on it. Don't start watching something at the sequel. What are you doing? Ashley Ramirez writes, Oh, come on. Human Centipede is an Oscar worthy movie. The Academy missed out. Ashley, I really do like the idea of a bunch of the most sophisticated minds in movies sitting around a table watching Human Centipede and being like, we can't give it the Oscar. It's too soon. The world wouldn't be able to handle it. And Miguel Flores wrote, I love this guy. He's so funny and he always gets a laugh out of me every video. Thank you so much Miguel, I love the kind words. Well everyone that's our list, thank you all so much for tuning in. As always make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Also make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Facebook and Instagram because there's loads more content over there and it's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts a little bit better. Until next time, I've been Chaderena and I'm going to go take a selfie with Champy. Bye.